Welcome to the Managing Drought in the Southern Plains webinar series. I'm Margaret Boone, Program Manager of the Southern Climate Impacts Planning Program, with your briefing for Tuesday, April 7, 2015. This information is brought to you by the Southern Climate Impacts Planning Program in association with NOAA, NIDAS, and the National Drought Mitigation Center. Looking back over the past month, drought continues to persist across the western United States. In California, the governor has enacted the first ever statewide watering restrictions to encourage conservation. Drought also continues across portions of the Southern Plains, intensifying in parts of Texas and Oklahoma. In February, an El Nino advisory was issued with a 50 to 60 percent chance that El Nino conditions would continue through the spring. This is considered a weak El Nino and might impact portions of the United States. However, nothing widespread is anticipated. This is the newest drought monitor released Thursday, April 2nd. Extreme and exceptional drought persists across the western United States and portions of the Southern Plains, especially north central Texas and western and southwestern Oklahoma. As we look closer at the drought monitor, D0 and D1 drought conditions persist across the high plains. Recent rainfall in the region prevented any further expansion of D1, which is moderate drought. Across the Southern Plains, North Central Texas and Southwest Oklahoma continue in extreme to exceptional drought conditions, and conditions have persisted and intensified over that region. The Vegetation Health Index, VHI, uh, indicated rapidly declining conditions from the Texas Panhandle into Northern Oklahoma. Across Central Texas, reservoir levels continue to struggle to rebound, indicating the long-term drought impacts in the region. Across the West, drought continues to persist, Areas of severe drought D2 expanded over portions of Nevada, where the water year precipitation so far has averaged less than 50% of normal. Rainfall departures over the last 14 days show the heavy rainfall that fell across portions of the Midwest, as well as portions of Montana and North Dakota, which helped prevent uh, further drought intensification in that region. The last 60 days shows the dry conditions consisting, persisting across portions of the Southern Plains, especially that Texas Panhandle to northern Oklahoma region where the vegetation health index was showing a rapid decline. Below normal rainfall is still apparent over the six months and over the water year. As mentioned uh, earlier, the vegetation health index, the VHI, showed rapid declines in vegetation health across portions of the southern plains. This image is of the VHI is valid for the week of April 1st. If the values are less than 40, it means that vegetation and crops are under stress and there is a potential for crop loss. If the values are greater than 60, that means conditions are more favorable for healthy vegetation and crop growth. Despite rains across uh, the recent rains across southern Texas, conditions across the Texas Panhandle and northern and northwest Oklahoma are not conducive for healthy crop growth. I also wanted to highlight a region of southwest Oklahoma Specifically, this is the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge, uh, which just happened to be named the nation's best wildlife refuge. This data is from the SCASIS single station data. The brown line indicates a normal accumulated rainfall, and the green line and shaded area represent the actual accumulated rainfall. Now, the top graph shows the time period of 1934 to 1938, which is the height, during the height of the Dust Bowl. And the bottom graph shows 2011 through January of 2015. The area in southwest Oklahoma is currently roughly 60 inches behind in rainfall for the past four and a half years. This is roughly 15 inches more in deficit than during the height of the Dust Bowl, which stresses the critical situation ongoing in this part of the region. The five-day outlook shows heavy rainfall possible across the Arklatex region and northeastward through the northern northeastern United States. Uh, temperatures across the southern plains and eastward are expected to be above normal, and this is valid Tuesday through Sunday. And then the 6 to 10 day outlooks, which is valid Sunday, April 12th through Friday, April 16th, indicate the warm and dry pattern is expected across a majority of the United States. Above normal precipitation is possible across the southwest, the southern plains, and the midwest, with the drier than normal conditions um, are expected across portions of the Pacific and Inner Mountain West. The Climate Prediction Center three-month outlooks were updated March 19th and reflect April, May, and June. Above normal temperatures are expected to continue across the West Coast and Alaska and into the Northern Plains, with below normal temperatures possible across a small area of the Southern Plains. 
Equal chances of above or below temperatures are expected elsewhere. Above normal precipitation is expected across the southwest and the southeast, with a small area of below normal precipitation possible in the Pacific Northwest and the Great Lakes. Equal chances of above or below normal precipitation is expected elsewhere. As mentioned earlier, an El Nino advisory has been issued, and these outlooks partially reflect the weak El Nino conditions. The monthly drought outlook was issued March 31st and is valid for the month of April. Drought persistence is expected across the majority of the current drought-stricken areas, with areas from Nebraska and South Dakota trending towards uh, drought developing. As always, please join us for these briefings and full topic webinars. For more information, please visit our SKIP website, which is southernclimate.org, to register for more information if you haven't already. These briefings will be posted in the SKIP YouTube channel as well as our website. Please like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at SKIP underscore RISA for more information. We thank you for joining us and have a great week.